Good evening, everybody. Well, I've had an interesting day, and this adventure started a few days ago when my better half and I went to the local greenhouse. And lo and behold, I saw the one thing I should not have seen. They had a large cart full of plants for 25 cents each. And I don't believe that plants should go to waste. And so I combed over it thoroughly and I found many a plants and, you know, at 25 cents a piece, you can load up a car. Well, I bought myself a good section. I spent a whole $3.75, but I bought some beautiful plants. Um, a couple of them I'm very, very proud of. Um, the first one that I bought was a shamrock clover. Um, growing up, my mom had one, and it was such a simple but beautiful plant. When I saw it for 25 cents, I bought it. Uh, the next one is the Torenra Connie Rose. And this one looks like it's going to be pretty beautiful. Um, and I got those in a nice little flower pot, and this is going to be on one of the porches on the house. You know, they want some sunlight, so and I think it would look pretty outside. Uh, the next one is the Apple Mint, and this was an herb plant that I bought. It has many, many uses. Um, you know, they are talking about how, you know, if you, you can drink this in tea, you can eat it. Um, it can help in digestion. It can help with acne. It can do a lot of wonderful things, and you can cook with it. And like is that tea? Oh yes, I had to have it. And this is one of those nice mints where if you rub the leaves, you get the strong smell, a beautiful sweet minty smell. So I got that planted in a pot. Um, not sure where I want to put it permanently, so I got it in a large pot so that it can grow and get better because it is a perennial in my area. Another herb that I bought is the purple sage. I uh, bought three of those and you know it's like alright I can put those in my garden I'll have plenty of sage and you know being a pagan you know we can use sage we can always use shit sage there's never enough. Um, I bought a some plants are called White Nancy Lamiums. L A M I U M. Okay. This is a ground cover plant. I've been putting in a retaining wall on my property. And with everything that I've done, these plants I think are going to take care of some corners and take care of some spots because they're supposed to get 16 inches across, you know, when they're grown. And these are perennials. So then, you know, I could put those in place and I'll have this beautiful little section every year. I like that. Uh, the next two plants I bought were Salvia Vista Purple and Purple Perioid Petunias. I'm saying these two together because I put them in the same large pot. Uh, one would be a very tall plant. The uh, salvia is very tall. It'll have a lot of bright, strong purple flowers. And then this petunia, you know, that's kind of one that goes hangs over the pot. And so I think the two of them together would look very nice. And the last plant that I bought, they mis told me what it is. They told me that it was the crown of thorns plant, and it's not but still quite beautiful. Um, it's a Yehorbia bolospina, and it is full of thorns, and it's one of the reasons why I bought it. Um, it's beautiful. It's got these small pinkish reddish flowers to it, and it's got these long spines. I have four cats that have a habit of chewing on plants. And I wanted to get a plant to, you know, that could defend itself against my four chewing cats. So, and I also found a, well, I've had this uh, terracotta pot that is just beautiful and was made in Europe. 
And so I transplanted the two of these that I got into one large pot. And I'm going to put this up on top of my altar um, along with my shamrock. And I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I need something that's going to distract the cats so that they don't just maul my shamrock, you know, you know, one day. And this is the plant that I'm talking about. Um, you can see some of the spines on it. Just right up here, these are dark almost one inch long spines. It's just a beautiful plant and you can see some of the gentle flowers on it. It is a nice change of pace. And you know being pagan we are to you know cherish plants. We are supposed to be close to nature and so today I spent eight hours working outside doing the retaining wall and planting all these uh, flowers and herbs and so I think I spent a good good part of the day connecting with the earth getting dirty um, and I feel great I took a nice hot shower and I feel like a million bucks so you know this is my haul uh, got them all plants and you know just reminding everybody get outside and connect with the earth you feel wonderful when you get done, as I did today. So take care. Be in peace.